Hi guys, Darren here, bringing you part two of our how to reduce overspray series. This video is brought to you by Ellis Discounter, the number one online retail shop in Europe, bringing you information and products on Ellis spraying equipment and accessories. If you haven't already, check out part one where we look at selecting the right spray tip, optimizing the pressure settings, and uh, looking at your technique, your spraying technique, so that you can reduce overspray. If you haven't already, be sure to smash the like button, and without further ado, let's look at the accessories you can use to reduce overspray. So when you first get your Ellis sprayer, it usually comes with an Ellis gun looking a lot like this. And if you're able to work, uh, have the gun close to the surface within, uh, say, 20 centimeters, you're um, able to keep the spray at, at an optimal distance from the working surface. The issue comes, however, when you are working maybe on scaffolding or around different obstacles. Well, you're going to struggle sometimes to keep that working distance uh, level throughout. So the next step then would be to get something like an extension. So an extension is going to help you to keep the working area that you want. So I've got here a gun with the extension. So the idea, idea with this is that it's, you're able to work a lot better, you can keep the distance that you want to work with. Unfortunately, however, while it's going to help you stay close to the surface that you're working with, what you're going to find is that uh, spitting will occur. Now spitting is those little droplets that are occurring at the beginning of the spray and at the end of the spray when you release your trigger. So for example, you've, you were spraying, you, uh, you're holding on the trigger, you're spraying and then you release the trigger and with a normal extension there's a pressure that's getting released which is uh, spitting out extra paint at the end. So how do we resolve this? Well, Graco brought out the clean shot valve and it kind of looks like it's just basically an extra mechanism at the end of your extension. And what it does is it takes the uh, valve on the gun and it has another valve built in here. And what that does is that uh, the pressure that was built up in the extension, that's now combated here too. This will uh, stop the spitting. And what Graco has done then is added a, a roller attachment to the clean shot valve. So I'm going to place this in here. And what you're doing with this device is instead of having one person doing the airless spraying and one doing the back rolling, for example, when you want to back roll when you're spraying uh, on drywall, now you're actually able to do both of those actions in one. So what you would do is you would start at the top and with the uh, sprayer angled below the roller, you would uh, spray and roll down you'd release the trigger and then you would um, roll back up again and in that way you're rolling out uh, some of the uh, extra particles and you're, some of the spray is catching into the roller so that's not going um, out. Now when you do get uh, the rollers you would instead of using one of the guns that are pointed at a 90 degree angle you would instead get what they call an inline roller where the handle and the uh, trigger and everything is actually on a straight line, hence the inline part. And if I show you here, you'd actually see that everything lines up quite nicely. Now, if you still find yourself getting overspray, you may want to choose a device that actually has now combined the um, Ellis trigger with the roller itself that actually the paint gets transferred right into the roller and in this case we have a device where you would um, have the trigger at the end and you would release um, you would pull and release the trigger and the paint gets delivered right through and into the roller itself and this way you're not getting any atomization going into there so you'd have no overspray at all and you're basically rolling now of course because all the paint is going onto the roller you would get the roller texture instead of when you're just doing airless spraying and you're getting a much finer uh, surface coverage another accessory that you can use to help you reduce overspray is actually using a heated system for example with the Wagner SF23 plus temp spray so in that case they 
uh, use a heated hose system, which what it does is there's a filament inside that hose which would heat the material of between 20 degrees to 60 degrees. Now, how does it help reduce overspray? Well, by heating the material, you are lowering its viscosity, which give, produces a softer spray fan. And with that means you need less pressure. Whenever you're using less pressure, that means less uh, material is going to be atomized out uh, before it hits the surface. So uh, there you are. You can use an extension with the clean shot valve. You can decide to use a roller to help you, or you can look at using a heated uh, hose system that will also help you reduce overspray. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you, have, if you want some more information on the products that I covered today, be sure to check out our blog post or look out for future videos. If you uh, want to get hold of us, uh, leave a comment below. We also have our contact details provided. Thank you so much and have a good spray.